So it's the start of day two. The bag, the tent's already all packed up. I've put my logs where my fire was and my bag's ready to go. I'm about to just walk into this forest over here. See that sign? That says Rob Roy Way. About to just go into this forest through here. When I get through this forest, I'll get to a hill. I'll be able to see Loch Venneker and then I'll walk down into Calendar. Hopefully meeting my friend Ryan in between Calendar and Strathaya. And then tonight I'll be camping at either Loch Lubnig, Loch Voyle or Loch Erin. I'm not quite sure yet. There's the campsite. Thanks very much campsite. Going on into this forest now. Deadly. Oof, they've had to change the Rob Roy McGregor way because of the forest. Wow. Usually you walk through here. Well, that's what I done last year. But wow, look at this. It's a cool start to the morning. <laughs> right, this is literally just two seconds since I've took that last video. This is so cool. Fucking hell, where do I go for here? I go through here, look! That's mad! On you go, Kerry! <laughs> this is mad! Oh! And then out of there. Right, I have to get through this now, so... I'm going to lift her up, but oh, this is so cool. All the spray paint on the trees that I have to go through. I've heavily enjoyed this this morning. It's been like good for my motivation in that, eh? It's just cool. It's like walking through the trees like with the spray paint. It's mad. It's like something like a game or something. So I will get her over this, the chasm. We'll jump the chasm and then we'll head on. Right, I'll speak to you once I'm at the forest, or if there's anything cooler in the forest, I'll let you know. Could I've got to go now? Jeez, oh. Oh, I'm sliding already. Oh, the wee dugs went at it as well. Oh, so cute. This is cool. This is farmed, but the other stuff back there isn't. Oh, here comes the wee gate. Cracking. Oh, and there are... Better no be loads of cows in that field. Oh, me and my pal Mikey Nesbitt last year, or two years ago, got chased off of cows. And honestly, I've never ran so far in my life. Turned round to look where he was, and he was halfway up a tree. Oh, I hope there is no a big herd. I can see one animal over there. It's either a cow or a deer. Hoping it's a deer. Or it might be a wolf. Nah, I'm not really sure what it is. But oh, I don't want loads of livestock in here. But oh, cracking. Absolutely cracking. The cow knows I'm here like, but seems to be pretty friendly. Looks like a juvenile Highland cow, which is quite cool. But aye, the one next to it, is that got horns? There's two of them next to it. One of them's clocked me as well. Show no fear, keep walking. I know that I just need to keep myself as big as possible if they do run towards me, but... It's funny.
mentid. Och fena kaff. Mentid. And I'm sure Loch Lubnig is maybe in that glen there. Or the glen are there. I'm not sure. We'll get to it anyway. Changed into my trainers because we're back on like the gravel paths. Which is so much better than my boots. I like boots for when you're on grass and stuff. But the trainers are where it's at when it's gravel paths in my opinion Indeed. I've had to put my jacket on because it's getting a wee bit of nippy up here but oh what a view it's cracking it's gorgeous so I got to continue on so we're at the bottom of the glen now, walking along Loch Venica, calendar three mile away, so should be there maybe an hour and a bit, a wee bit over an hour. So I calendar, three mile away, Rob Roy Way. So I keep going. So I we're just chilling next to Loch Venicar the new. Chilling it. We've walked a wee bit further along for the loch, but you can see all the wee lambs running about. A few of them are chilling down there on the grass. And there's some mad sheep out there, they're absolutely huge. Don't know what type they are. I actually thought they were llamas at the start, but they look like big mash, mad sheep. Big rare sheep. Then they came at tight there, but they're huge. Calendar one mile. See it there. And then down there, that wee bit there, that wee crypt thing is the one of the inspirations for me starting the channel. So it'd be quite cool to go there and have a wee sit there after I go to calendar and get some sweeties and some food and things like that. So Hi, almost in calendar. We're in calendar. Went and got a coffee and got my lunch. Two pies and a rice crispy cake. Lunch these are now. Go to Tesco's, get some stuff, and then keep heading up. I think Ryan's on his way up to calendar just now, so he'll probably walk to that wee crypt thing with me. So hi, just chilling by the river now. The river teeth. So I've got Ryan now in calendar, had a wee bite to eat, what you've seen. Uh, got some stuff at the Tesco's, some corn beef and that for the dug. Uh, we're just going to head on, Ryan's going to walk with me for an hour, going to go to this wee crit thing, and then I'm going up to Loch Lubnig. I've genuinely I've felt like crying with the pain, um, but I'm going to get up to Loch Lubnig. I'm just going to camp there the night instead of reach, trying to go all the way up to Loch Ern. I'm just got to camp at Loch Lubnig, chill out, try and get this knee sorted, maybe even get in the water for 10-15 minutes and then see how I feel. Ryan's told me he can pick me up the water if I'm gubbed. Um, I want to complete it. So I'm, I was genuinely about crying in Tesco's and out there. So i just got to keep going up here the now and go to this wee crypt thing and then keep going up to the campsite. To this wee crypt thing just now, it's an old church. Ryan's got my bag. 
because my knee's gouting. <laughs> He's my Sherpa. But you can see here, like the carts where they came in through here and brought the bodies up to this crypt. Um, it's pretty cool. Well, there maybe been a church next to it as well. So aye, it's quite smart. I'll show you these ones for inside and outside it. That's us at this wee crypt thing. It's cool. Take these in. It's like an ancient uh, graveyard. By the way, sorry if I can't get my words out as well, guys. I'm on painkillers and drams of whiskey, so I can barely talk. But I'll try and make as much sense as I can. This was where last year I was sitting, it was pouring with the rain and I was getting loads of folks saying oh that's brilliant what you're doing, keep it up and you should start a YouTube channel and it was round about here, in between here and Balquidder is where I actually thought you know what I'm gonna do the YouTube so aye, it's a cool wee place There's something about graveyards that are just interesting and cool, peaceful And here's Panda <laughs> So aye, by the looks of the gravestones, this is for the McNabs and the Buchanan clans. So aye, pretty cool. So we're maybe about half an hour after the crypt. We're walking up the old railway line. Um, you can see the sort of railway bridges here, where the cars would have went over back in the day. Um, I walking up the old railway line. I had to carry Kerry for the last sort of half an hour. Um, she's gubbed. She just wasn't even moving forward. But um, she's feeling a bit better now. She's at my feet. Uh, we'll be at Loch Lubnig in really good timing. We'll be there at really early. So I'll be able to get set up, get all my firewood, get a right good chill in me and just get prepared for tomorrow. See where I'm actually going to be camping tomorrow. Uh, so aye. This railway bridge is ahead of us, I just need to pick her up just now. Oh. Hiya pal. Thank you. See you later. So I, we're just at the railway bridge now. Maybe, I don't know, half an hour away from Lockwood in the campsite, who knows. Uh, get the tent set up and get going. Right, I've been picked up, I've no quit, but uh, the Loch Lubnig campsite's closed and the lassie was very unhelpful, so Ryan was coming up to get me there, so he's just taking me up to Loch Ern now. I've got to just camp where I'm meant to be camping the night. I know it's maybe about 10 miles less than the actual walk, but that's what it is. I can't believe that woman at Loch Lubnig. If I'd been walking all day and went to Loch Lubnig, I knew they like just been wide, so aye, quite crap. As I was saying yesterday with Highland Hospitality, our first thing was you can't camp here. It wasn't oh you're just going to be here tonight, on you go sort of thing, which a, a decent normal person would do. No, it was you can't camp here tonight. Just didn't understand why people are like that nowadays. So luckily Ryan's here, um, he's got to take me up to Loch Ern, luckily, and then I'll just camp there the night. But aye, if you're going by the Loch Ludmig cabin, didn't stop. The folk that work in there aren't very helpful. So we're in the car, we've went to the Loch Ern campsite and it's not really up to much. I don't have any phone signal here either. Know that I need phone signal, but also the weather's coming in. So aye, I flipped a coin into their heads. I was staying on tails, I was gone home, and it's landed on tails. So I'm gone home. Kerry's been crying the full way in the car as well. And I'm sad, but doing this walk without accommodation is just silly. It's silly. So I need to just do it with accommodation. Do it when I've got money. I can't do it on a budget. You can do half it on a budget. So if you want to do half it on a budget, you can do it. I'll try and maybe even do the other half on a budget later on in the summer. But aye, I'm going home. Crap. That is what it is.